So in my group we design and we develop new materials and new technologies that incorporate uh, nanoparticles or incredibly small particles with a size on the nanometer uh, size range. Materials with such a small size, they have properties and behaviors that don't necessarily emerge in larger pieces of the same type of material. And what we do is we try to understand the underlying science that governs how these materials behave at the nanoscale and then apply that knowledge uh, to try and solve real world problems. And so for us, some of those areas or some of those applications include dentistry, so trying to um, treat and prevent dental diseases, um, also in energy storage, so looking for new ways to store clean energy, and for putting uh, magnetically interesting molecules onto the surfaces uh, of nanoparticles uh, toward new uh, storage devices and magnetic devices. Silver nanoparticles um, have size-dependent antimicrobial, antibacterial properties. So that means at sufficiently small sizes, or as you decrease the size, they become more and more antibacterial. So we incorporate silver nanoparticles into a variety of different materials. So this might be into a liquid or a gel or um, a dental filling material. Um, and those silver nanoparticles will kill the bacteria that are causing the disease. So preventing secondary caries or further infection. Um, and that would hopefully mean fewer trips to the dentist. Beyond silver, we're also making other types of materials on the nanoscale, um, some of which include nanocrystals of coordination polymers, or otherwise known as metal organic frameworks. Um, these essentially act as a sponge, so they can adsorb and desorb gases from the atmosphere. So this could include carbon dioxide, so removing um, carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas from the atmosphere. Uh, it can also be used to store gases, like hydrogen gas, as a, as a, as a clean energy or clean fuel. So this is exciting in terms of the potential to solve some of the world's most important problems. Doing science in New Zealand is great uh, because I find it to be very collegial and very collaborative and that allows us to do quite interdisciplinary science. Winning this award has been an incredible honour. It has been a real team effort involving uh, past and present group members, colleagues and collaborators um, and it will allow me now to bring more people into the lab to further our research program and, and develop some of our new ideas.